What's going on everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today we are checking out Nick Crowley's paranormal videos that I can't explain. Shout out to Nick for allowing us to use his content. If you guys enjoy this, make sure you head on over to his channel afterwards and go show him some some support if you haven't already. As always, if you guys want to get your requests up here as well, make sure you check out the Google form down in the description below. Definitely make sure you guys head up the Creator Consortium link. That's where we're on Discord all the time in their live film and reactions constantly. All right. Let's check this out. I'm ready to be scared, Ever Nick. since I first began using the internet as a kid, I can remember searching up videos of ghosts caught on camera. There was something the about watching thing. these I still low do. quality videos. Shout out to the Sylvia, uh, Sylvia C channel, by the way. That's one of the newer ones that have just come up. She has like 4,000 subs. There's a bunch of weird stuff that's been getting posted. I actually have a coverage video look up the sylvia c files on my channel then head on over to her channel and nick if you see this you should definitely look into the sylvia c channel as well all right let's go that always left me so terrified that i couldn't sleep yet it interested me so much that the next day i'd come back wanting more which is probably it's why my sleep interesting. schedule is all jacked up to this day but as i've gotten older i feel you bro i began to notice <clears throat> the flaws in many of these videos Signs of editing and staging became more obvious, as it quickly became more clear to me that what you see on the internet isn't always as genuine as it claims to be. This realization made it harder for me to trust any sort of paranormal videos that I watched, because I was bamboozled one too many times. But recently, that same childhood curiosity that I once had actually returned I began wondering if there were any paranormal videos out there that could truly be seen as convincing to me. And after searching around, I found a few that have me interested. Hmm. And now you have piqued my interest. For me, when a young child or a baby <laughs> is in a paranormal video, a lot of the times it actually comes across as more genuine. Not only would it be harder to convince a child to act in these videos, but we all know that kids normally aren't the best at acting anyway. But besides this, apparently children are also more susceptible to encountering spirits. So having this prior knowledge, coupled with how subtle our first video is, it hmm. truly has left me stumped even after watching it multiple now, man. times. Let's go. <clears throat> I mean, there is something to be said for, like, imaginary friends of children, right? This video shows the remote in a young child's hand seemingly being pulled by an unknown force. From what I can tell, yeah, dude. there doesn't seem to be any sort of strings involved or editing. Plus, this type of movement would be all but impossible for a child this age to pull off. And honestly, that goes for any age for that matter. I mean, this would just be so hard to replicate because the remote moves in such an unnatural way. And kids are so cat-like at that age that as soon as it moves, their atten their full attention is going to be on it. Like, as soon as someone tries taking it, I'm sure you've ever tried to take something away from a child. You know, you can't have that. You know, it's dangerous for you. And they're going to freak out. So, I mean, this kid going after this remote definitely... Hmm, it's, it's weird. Because of this, we are left with little <clears throat> explanation as to how this could be possible. Either his movements caused this remote to shift in a one in a million type of way, or perhaps this child was grappling with some sort of paranormal entity. Our next video was posted to Reddit where it quickly gained interest throughout the paranormal community. It was posted with the caption, My daughter played her grandma's piano, who passed away a month ago in Japan. Here we keep the cremated remains and bones slash ashes for 49 days before finally burying at the graveyard. While I was focused on filming her, a toy in the background starts to move, and we were the only two in the room. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, look at the train moving on the floor. Yay, that was good. Good job. This one is especially that was really interesting good. to me because at first I wasn't a believer in it. <clears throat> With the whole left side of the screen cut off, I just figured that someone was off camera who had just pushed the toy train. But the more I viewed it, the more intrigued I became. And that's because of the pace in which the train actually moved. Just looking at it, its speed isn't really consistent with it being pushed along. At one point, it looks like it even hesitates and then picks up speed. That it makes it turned. doubtful to me that it could have been pushed. Also, you despite that? initially thinking that it could be one of those <clears throat> toys that you pull back and it moves forward on its own, I'm starting to think that it's less and less likely. I mean, every time that I've used a toy like that, it always makes some kind of noise, and it's very distinct. Yet this one was completely silent. And, no it has, and it has those silver pins. It's a wooden train or whatever where it's just a small nail that's holding that wheel on. I mean, that's... But the thing is, is it's probably a magnetic train. So is there an electric current underneath the floor or something like that? I mean... Who's Yet this say, one was completely silent. You can see the train turn. Did you see it? Hold on, watch. It's going to come out Yet right this here. this one was see? completely silent. It turns left and it comes back to the right. You don't hear anyone wind it up. It's very you weird. You don't hear the mechanical parts in the toy It's got to be one of those old wooden trains. Forward. Sure, there could be other explanations for this video, but it certainly turned out to be more authentic than I initially thought. And I think I was so reluctant to believe this at first because it really seems too good to be true. I made a point to mention earlier how it would be difficult to fake videos that involve kids, because let's just be real, they aren't really good actors. But when it comes to infants, well those videos would be just about impossible to be faked. Yeah, and this video is sure. a good example of that. I mean it'd be impossible, oh you can see the orb. And I don't think anybody would do that to their child. I would hope someone wouldn't do that to their child just for views. I mean... The video is obviously very creepy to me, and it's one that I find really <clears throat> authentic. I highly doubt that the caretakers of this baby would tie something around the baby's legs and cause them to move like that. Yeah. Because honestly, that would probably constitute as child abuse. Yeah. So I'm convinced that whatever is happening in this video is not staged. Now I have heard that babies will sometimes move in weird ways in their sleep, which could offer some sort of an explanation to this. But the way that the baby is moving, yeah, but it, that's... Just, it seems really unsettling and unusual. And I'm not yeah. even sure that a baby this young would actually be strong enough to move in that sort of way. Also, if you look, you'll actually see an orb that follows the movement of the child's legs, almost yep. as if it was the spirit that was moving the child. It's definitely eerie, and all around, very convincing. It's definitely really, really strange. I mean, I've always questioned orbs now, I want anyway. To mention that There's gotta be a reason in there. We let off electricity when we pass, right? The whole world is full of electricity. They've even said that, uh, what are those? The black and white slow motion imaging when you fire a gun, right? You can see something that would look like a liquid being pushed back, okay? Now, electricity travels through salt. We are full of salt. So is the whole rest of the world. So how hard would it be for an electric force, right, that passes on from one beating heart into the atmosphere the electricity has to go somewhere it's just like they tell us when it when it's lightning right thunder and lightning the lightning hits something it doesn't just stop there it has to travel somewhere that's why you don't stand under the tree when it gets struck because you get struck in a way as well you have a good chance of being shocked as well that's why you don't stand there so what do you think happens when we have that electric energy inside of us and it goes out it has to go somewhere right that's just my belief though
Let me know what you guys young think. children who are supposedly extra susceptible to paranormal occurrences. The same also goes for our pets. With cats and dogs being at the forefront, many believe that cats and dogs can see spirits that humans can't, which has led to some terrifying videos and stories in the past. This video of a cat playing caught a lot of people's attention because of how cute it was, but some fans of the paranormal found it anything but. Hmm. This cat is clearly acting as if they are playing and interacting with someone, yeah. yet there's no one else in the room. Its actions and movements just seem so inconsistent to a cat just playing by itself. Like its movements seem completely reactionary, yet there is nothing visible for it to be reacting to. And as it turns out, there are plenty more videos like this out there. Now, I've always wondered, right, because cats have such a different line of sight, they see so many more colors, right? Cats are up as soon as the sun shows through, like when there's ultraviolet light showing through trees, that's when my cats are up. They can already tell, like, in it, and it's clockwork every single day like that, right? <clears throat> so sometimes I wonder if, like, particles of dust that we can't see that are reflective or refractive pushing light off in different ways making different colors i mean it it seems possible but at the same time it definitely seems weird cats have such a good eyesight though that's the thing so for them to be able to see dust whether these cats are truly encountering the paranormal or if they are just being strange is something that may forever be a mystery at the end of the day only the cats truly know what they are seeing, which is something that will forever that make I have videos questioned. like this both intriguing and frustrating. Because the only time a cat normally kicks with its back paws is when they're playing with something, right? It's more of a fight tactic that they practice when, when playing. Continuing on the whole theme of pets, Let's shift over to a paranormal dog video. Mm. Living with dogs my whole life, they never cease to give me heart attacks at the most random times. I mean, I'll be in bed with my dog, and in the middle of the night, he'll just randomly start growling or barking at literally nothing. It honestly is the scariest thing ever, and it still See, makes no sense to me. Dogs hear things really well, right? They can hear your heartbeat through a wall. Like, they know... That's why dogs get paired up with people that have seizures and stuff, um, because they can sense those different things that are happening inside of your body. Now, I don't know if it's just specifically because of the dog's ears, but it's definitely one way to kind of explain it, but I never like explaining things off, so it's definitely just one thing that plays into my debunking of certain things, but I've definitely known, I, I've owned dogs um, growing up. I don't have any now, um, but I've had a few instances where my pit bulls got a little upset at nothing that was, you know, something that wasn't even there. Um, definitely freaked me out, especially because there was no electricity in that wall or anything. Could have been a squirrel on the roof or something stupid, but it's definitely questionable when it happens. But I know that there are many others out there who have experienced this same situation as well, which is evident by all the videos being posted about it. But recently, I found another paranormal dog video, and this one was much different than the types that I was used to seeing. Bet you they have a bad uh, pitch in their floor. 
I want to know where that ball ends up. Now, watching this video, there. I don't think someone is <clears throat> off camera pushing the ball back to the dog. Because I feel like the dog would at least acknowledge the person, you know? Like, if I did that to my dog, he'd be looking at me and then looking at the ball, and it's just, it would be a lot more obvious if there was another person there. Now, you could say that maybe the floor is just uneven, and that's why the ball is rolling in such a way. Possible. But how uneven would your floors have to be for the ball to move like that? I have seen a lot of floors where they are extremely uneven. If this is a basement, that concrete could be so uneven. I mean, look at the look at the lip where the tile sits in that stick-down hardwood, like the fake stuff. It actually might... There might be plywood in between that, and that's probably why it's so thin. Or it's just a raised piece of concrete, but I don't know why they would chip out a section. It's very interesting, though. I've definitely had to self-level a bunch of floors. Um, liquid, you know, liquid mix concrete. And you basically just pour it down, and it moves wherever it has to. And it's amazing to see when you pour it on one side of the room, and you just start piling and piling it and letting and allowing it to just shift and move. It's crazy to see, like, where it moves to you would never you'd never think of it but i mean like i said if that's if this is a concrete basement floor if it's not who knows i mean building shift and things like that the do dogs are really smart could just be sitting in that one spot knowing that's where the ball goes i mean if this is a small room there could be a wall just behind there my question would be i guess what's what's behind the edge of the camera if there's a wall or something i'd want to see more footage but this is definitely very interesting I mean, at what point is that not just a safety hazard? There is one point in the beginning when they when you first started showing this clip where the ball looked like it actually rolled outward. Oh, was it outward and then back in? And then the dog like hits it and it rolls off to the left that first time. But then there are Let's small moments again. like this where the ball just seems to be pulled away or moved in an unexplainable manner. And the way the ball rolled back at the very All beginning of the video, so that was when the, the dog video, kicked it. It just seems way too extreme to happen naturally. So all in all, this video has me torn, and it definitely needs further explanation. For sure. The Costco ghost. Oh, here we go. One of the most common things caught in those videos that I watched as a kid. Oh, that's creepy. Were apparitions. Oh. Full-bodied ghosts just being caught walking around or standing in a creepy spot. Yeah, like what? And almost all of them were clearly fakes. With the power of editing now, it's just too easy to fake these apparitions. But recently, I found a few videos that were actually kind of convincing. Hmm. This video was recently taken on a security camera in a Costco's parking lot and shows what appears to be some type of apparition heading towards the store. I mean, that would definitely be harder to fake, right? Look at that thing. That is so weird. Bro, you know when the spirits are doing their last minute shopping that we're really screwed. <laughs> but in terms of this video's believability, it looks decent. I can't think of any naturally occurring things that would cause something like this. And the thing is, too, is it looked like someone was walking like this, like they were holding their stomach or something. Which means it was either edited, or this is in fact a real-life apparition. To me, this is one of the better ghost videos out there. And even after a few watches, it still gives me the creeps. Our final video also captures a supposed apparition on camera in someone's driveway. Except this one is much more obscure and in many ways I think more believable. Oh, what the hell? Hmm. What? It is long since. It could have been fog. 
like when you have one of those small fog clouds roll through it happens here every once in a while we get fog you know what i'm saying like sometimes you can't see it that's weird though that's almost too weird though and look how it like it like flares out in the camera that's so crazy it has long since been claimed that ghosts can manipulate electronic objects, which makes this video very interesting to me. The object caught on camera is not clear by any means, but maybe that's how a ghost would actually look if it were caught on camera, which again goes hand in hand with the idea that ghosts can in fact manipulate electronics. Definitely very strange. I don't think this could be any type of bug flying across or crawling across the screen. <clears throat> And it certainly couldn't be a person or an animal because it appears to be floating. Now, of course, it, like, a glitch within out the, the camera, camera just... could be blamed for this, but the human-like shape and the way that it moves across the screen makes this video incredibly frightening. Whether these videos are truly proof of the paranormal ultimately remains to be confirmed. But based off of what I've seen as of late, they are some of the most convincing videos that I have ever seen. And watching these creepy videos and talking about them has honestly been really nostalgic for me. Losing sleep and Hell creeping yeah. myself out looking up these videos was actually a lot of fun. And it's reminding I'm me saying. why I initially fell in love with all the spooky stuff. Well, I can definitely, t definitely tell you, I appreciate you looking up this stuff and bringing it to us on here. Um, I'll definitely be doing a little bit more of it myself. I think it's really cool finding all these weird anomalies and different things that happen that people kind of tend to overlook, right? People don't want to see it. They don't want to believe it. So they're just like, meh. Or they've had experiences and they still don't. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. If you guys have had any experiences yourself or if there's one of these types of videos that you want me to check out, definitely leave it through the Google form. Let me know your experiences down in the comments below. Very interested in hearing them. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys go check out Nick's channel. Check out one of the other current videos floating around before you take off. And I'll catch you on the next one.